So, I've been taking it easy over the last few days. I haven't made a video since earlier this week. All the ones that went up, I made on Tuesday and Wednesday. So I've been kicking back and relaxing. And that means a lot more Battlefield 1 has now been played. I'm always looking for new and different ways to play this game. So for example, going exclusively Assault with the Hell Regal on Argon Forest is always going to be certain fun for me. Or playing some operations as support and clearing out the bunkers with the machine guns or using the mortar and just get that rain crashing down on enemies' heads. But I wanted something different these last few days. I didn't really feel like automatic weapons was where I wanted to be, so I switched out to the scout class, I picked an infantry rifle, iron sights only, loaded up Conquest, and gave it a shot. Now Amiens loaded in, which is one of the best maps in the game, and I found myself having a really, really good time. Now at first, I was running with the Russian 1895 rifle, that's the repeater rifle in the scout class. And although I was managing to pick off some targets, the reload and rechamber animations just didn't feel right. It's an aesthetic thing really, but I wanted a bolt action rifle. So I looked at what I could go for, and it was between the Gewehr 98, the Gewehr M95, and the Lee-Enfield SMLE. Now the Gewehr M98 is the long range rifle now in Battlefield 1. Its sweet spot for maximum damage stretches right out and starts a lot further away than you might like, especially here on Amiens, where the engagements are usually confined to shorter distances. Yes, there are some longer alleyways where you could make use of the 98's power at range, but those encounters don't really come along all that often. The flow of the map and the spacing of the objectives means the two teams are always cycling around. You don't tend to get situations where one team is ultimately trapping the other into their spawn. And that's a credit, really, to DICE on their map design right here. But you need a rifle that's going to work for you in that scenario. And that left the SMLE or the Gewehr M95. The SMLE comes with the sweet spot mechanic whereas the Gewehr N95 doesn't. So naturally, I pick the Gewehr, because why the hell not? Nothing like being the underdog and coming out on top, am I right? The Gewehr M95 is the Austro-Hungarian entry for the rifles here in Battlefield 1, and in real life it's known as the Manlicker M1895, and it was used mainly by the Austro-Hungarians during the First World War. Manlicker designed the rifle to operate with a straight pull bolt rather than the rotating bolt handle that lots of other rifles used at the time. And this meant usually it could fire at a higher rate than other army's rifles and that could make all the difference out there in battle. In the game here in Battlefield 1 it does feature that high rate of fire. It's actually higher than most other rifles in the class and that really can help out in close quarters engagements, but it doesn't really have a huge amount else going for it. It's worth me explaining this to you because there are a few new mechanics in Battlefield 1 that can have a big effect on the bolt action rifles in the game. So bear with me, there's going to be an explanation of a lot of mechanics here, but by the end of it, it's going to make sense. There are a few reasons why the Gewehr M95 on the surface doesn't look like a good choice of bolt-action rifle. First of all, it can only hold five rounds in a strip clip, and it can only put one of those strip clips into the weapon at any one time. Now the SMLE beats that out with five more. You can put two strip clips of five into the Lee Enfield. It also doesn't have access to the sweet spot mechanic, which again is a brand new thing here in Battlefield 1. Instead, it has a maximum damage of 90, and that tails off to a minimum of 79. That's one less damage than most of the other bolt-action rifles in the game. The Russian 1895, its closest competitor, does have access to the sweet spot, but it also only comes with five rounds in a strip. So there's not a lot of good stuff there. So why did I even bother trying to use this thing? Well, there's another new mechanic that DICE have added into Battlefield 1, and it's not something you'd really notice unless you had the data in front of you telling you it was actually there. But having looked at some of the weapons on Simthic.com, 
DICE have added a reload delay into the game. Most of the bolt action rifles have a time value applied to the weapon before the reload starts and after the reload ends. So for example, the Russian 1895 has a preload delay of 1.31 seconds and a postload delay of 1 second, making the reload longer overall. The only bolt action rifle in the scout class not to be subject to this new reload mechanic is the Gewehr M95. I think the reason it doesn't have this new mechanic is because the aforementioned stats, the no sweet spot, the low ammo count makes it seem like a really bad choice against other rifles when in fact this new statistic, this reload delay is extremely powerful. Because the M95 can only have a 5 round strip clip loaded into it, there is no single bullet reload on this weapon like there is with others. The reload time is always 3 seconds with the Gewehr M95. It doesn't matter if you have 4 rounds in that strip clip or none at all, when you hit the reload button, the time will always be 3 seconds. This is an extremely reliable statistic and if you can train yourself to work with that, always knowing that a reload is going to take you 3 seconds with this rifle, you can use it to your advantage in loads of different scenarios. It beats out the likes of the SMLE which yes, can have 10 rounds loaded into the weapon, but those 10 rounds come via 2 strip clips of 5 rounds each and that makes the reload time significantly longer. And then on top of that, the rifle is subject to the new delay reload mechanic as well. The SMLE adds 1.2 seconds on before the reload starts and 0.8 seconds at the end. And that's not to mention the extended time it could take you to reload your rifle if you choose to reload halfway through a strip clip of rounds. Say you have two rounds left in the SMLE and you chose to reload. Your character would then load a new strip clip of 5 in first of all, that makes 7 bullets, but then you'd have to manually add 3 more bullets into the weapon to get it fully ammoed up, one by one elongating the reload time, and that makes it very hard to estimate when your weapon is going to be ready to fire again. The Gewehr M95 doesn't have to deal with any of that new stuff. And really, if you think about it, it's the rifle in Battlefield 1 right now that stands alone in feeling like bolt action rifles from Battlefield games that have gone past. It doesn't have access to this new sweet spot system, so you really have to focus on headshots and being as accurate as possible. It doesn't have a delay on when a reload is started and ended, and it reloads in just a standard conventional manner in a way that people would expect it to. Those stats alone are enough for me to recommend this weapon as the infantry rifle of choice in Battlefield 1. If you're going for close to medium range combat and you want something reliable and consistent in its operation, then here it is. I give you the Gewehr M95. Now there's something I want to mention before I part ways with you today. Those of you who follow me on Twitter will probably already know what's coming I'm sure, but on Monday the 31st of October, it's not only Halloween this year, but for me, it's also the last day that I go to my workplace. A few weeks ago, I handed in my notice with the intention of focusing all of my time right here on my YouTube channel. Since May, with the announcement of Battlefield 1, my channel has experienced this just massive growth. And that's the type that I've never ever seen before. So many new subscribers, my view totals have almost quadrupled since that point. And for me, that's absolutely amazing. More and more opportunities are opening up for me to turn what was my awesome hobby into now what is my full-time job. So thank you all out there who are watching for making that a reality. Without you, none of this would have ever happened and I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today. So thank you for all of your support. And now for the first time, I can actually say thank you for giving me the best job in the world. I'm sitting here with a massive smile on my face. This is something that is really exciting for me and I hope you stick around to see here what's on my channel with all the content that I've got planned for the future. But thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the infantry rifles down below in the comments. 
I'll be down there reading and replying to as many as I can, like I always do. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.